What's up you guys, this is Steven and I want to do something a little different. I want to analyze the various album covers of Nami Amoru's latest compilation album entitled Balada. And at the moment this album has not been released just yet. It's a compilation album as you guys know. However, um, the album covers have been released and there's various album covers. There's about three different album covers and then there's a miscellaneous photo. And I want to take some time and you know just to review the photos basically. So I'll start with the CD only photo. This is it's the photo for the CD only version of Nami Amoru's Balada compilation album and you know for me personally I don't like I don't think that this was the best wardrobe for Nami Amoru as well the background scenery could have been much more dynamic um, it's just Nami Amoru in a room that's pretty much bare you know not much in it with a chair and you know, the room looks like it hasn't been lived in. It looks kind of like, you know, it looks it looks like it's in a home that has not been renovated. You know, like this home is in need of a renovation. But then again, this could be a set. But anyway, it looks like that. And the wardrobe is just, you know, not very good. I'll put it like that. It's not very good. Um, you know, Nami is doing her thing in the photo, and she's making it work as best as she can. Um, but the stylist for this photo shoot definitely needs to be pimp slapped for this because it was not really good. You know. You know, for instance, I mean, look at that hat. It looks like it was photoshopped onto her. You know, it looks like. Someone just slapped it on in post production. And if they did Photoshop that onto her, which I don't think they did, but it looks like they did. If they did Photoshop that onto her, then it wasn't a good job because when you Photoshop something, it's supposed to be better than before it was Photoshopped, you know? And as well, um, let's see the dress like where did the plaid come from you know like I like the color red and I like the color black but I don't really understand where the plaid came from um, however I will say that um, you know the dress was um, situated very well on the floor you know it's kinda like in a circular motion but it kinda gets to a point in the photo where you see where it's by Nami's foot and it seems like they forgot to um, you know undo that part so it'd be like a full circle or at least more circles see how it kinda like dips into the photo like it's like okay we're doing like a uh, even circle even circle even, cir even circle and then it gets to a point where it's not an even circle anymore and it kinda comes in and I'm like someone should have caught that you know let's see I like the tippy toe thing, you know, she's not quite on her tippy toes, but I like the arched foot. Um, that's a nice pose. Um, in fact, it kind of gets me wondering, like, hey, how did she um, do that pose? I'm pretty sure she has, like, some type of a um, seat under her to prop her. Um, but, you know, it kind of gets you wondering, so that's a good thing. Um, Nami's expression in this photo, I'm not quite sure what she's going for with this expression. Like, is this, as far, and as the, and with the body language as well, um, the expression looks a bit like a combination of maybe like timid and fearful, and the, ex, the body language looks like, you know, either she's trying to be really sexy, trying to be sexy kind of like touch yourself or something or either she's just 
like not comfortable. And what's the chair doing in the photo? I mean, look at the chair. Is it really serving a purpose? I mean, the chair that she's sitting on under the dress is serving a purpose, but what's this chair doing? It's just, you know, I guess it's something, you know. If you imagine a photo without the chair, then I suppose the photo would just be even less of a quality just because it's some, the chair gives you something to focus on and that's not a good thing you know I shouldn't be focusing on the chair if I'm looking at Nami Immortal you know what I'm saying anywho on to the next photo okay this photo is <clears throat> the photo for the CDC and DVD version of the album and Let's see. I I like this photo. I think it's a good photo, you know. However, there are some issues with it. Um, I'm not quite sure what Nami is doing with her fingers there. Um, again, the hat. I'm not sh This hat looks like it could have been added post-production, like in Photoshop. But I don't think it was. I pretty, I'm pretty sure that this hat was worn during the original photo shoot. After all, who would add a hat like that? You know, if anything, they should have at least made the hat match the dress that she was wearing. That would have made more sense. But just because it's black doesn't mean it necessarily goes with it, you know? The hat just seems like, you know, it really brings down the quality of the picture, you know? If you removed this hat and gave Namie a different expression, she could have sold this photo better. However, the chair has a purpose in this photo this time. She's leaning on it. So that's something. And as well, the lighting in the photo is nice. And I feel like they're trying to like um, emphasize Namie's face by pulling her hair back. But they have this hat that distracts from her face and I think Nami has a very nice face you know her face looks very nice and I think this takes away from like Nami's um, beauty you know it kinda like distracts and she doesn't need a distraction like this she has a nice face if she was someone who didn't have as you know soft and as lovely as a face lovely as a face that she has then this hat would be serving more of a purpose in helping her but it's not helping her it's just bringing her down definitely um but Nami's eyes are interesting in this photo her eyes look like they are a, a different color I, I usually think I think that Nami's eyes are brown but I'm not quite sure what color Nami's eyes are I assume they're brown, but I don't know. But her eyes look interesting. And let's see, her facial expression, it could have been better. I'm not quite sure what she's trying to, you know, what message she's trying to send with her facial expression here. So, um, again, the photographer or the creative director probably should have given Nami a um, better direction. Um, let's see. Anything else I can really say about this photo? Um, I'll say that they did pay attention to the details of her fingers, at least by adding fingernail polish. So, you know, at least someone's thinking about, you know, the little details, but they're missing the big details as well. Alright, um, here is the CDC I'm um, sorry, the CD Blu-ray version of the compilation album, Balada. And, okay, the chair is serving a purpose here, so that's good. Um, however, the picture is blurry. I'm not quite sure what they are trying to emphasize with this drab background here. Like, why the drab background? You know? 
Um, as well, I can kind of see, like, you know, it's been blurred. A lot of it's been blurred. Um, Namie has not been blurred. But you can see, if you look very closely at around the middle of her back, you'll see that, like, some of her dress has been blurred, too, which shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened. So that was, you know, a mistake on the behalf of whoever edited these photos. Um, however, I think Nami's facial expressions here is um, pretty decent, though. It's a, it's a respectable facial expression. It seems like it might be sh telling something. It's kind of like, you know, kind of like, hello, hey, look, it has a bit of a, a bit of sexuality with it, I'll say. It's not the most expressive facial expression, but it's the most fa the most expressive facial expression that I've seen from these photos thus far. Um, as well, I like the way her hands look in this photo, and the chair is serving a purpose in this photo. Um, and even you know. Um, her pose in this photo is pretty decent too. Um, I'll say, you know, remove the hat and undo the botched blurring, and this photo could be um, pretty decent. Um, let's see. So I'm saying that so far, I think this might be the best photo. All right, here is the final photo, and this is the miscellaneous photo, and with good reason. Um, you know, again, that hat is not doing Namie any favors. Her facial expression isn't doing not doing her any favors. You can't see her eye. You, she's missing an eye. Um, her facial expression isn't really saying much of anything. Um, let's see. On the plus side, the chair has a purpose. So good. Um, I like the way her hands look in the photo. Um, they seem to also, she knows what she's doing with her hands in this photo. Um, the pose is pretty decent. She's trying to do something that's kind of like along the lines of maybe like um, more like high-end fashion modeling, but this the look that she has isn't very high-end, you know? In fact, you know, it looks like, you know, this could be part of like a catalog, you know, part of like some, you know, catalog stores advertisement or something. Um, let's see. Um, overall, let's see. I think this might be the weakest photo overall. And this is miscellaneous for good reason then. You know, this is a good reason for it, you know, for it being miscellaneous. Um, but overall, I don't think this, this is probably like the weakest photo shoot she's done in her career, possibly. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but they definitely need to be checked. You know, someone needs to slap some sense of them into him or her. Or whatever team thought this was a good idea. Um, I'd say that the the CD plus Blu-ray version of the album, like the cover for that album, is the best. Um, just because I think she's actually saying something with her facial expression, and she has a good, she has good body language and it seems like you know she's like the chair is has a purpose her face kinda like it says something um she's doing something decent with her hands you know she seems like she halfway knows what she's doing with her hands um I don't quite understand the blurring and the hat but the hat is in every photo so they can't escape the hat um, and I'd say the worst photo would be Um, 
probably the miscellaneous photo. I'd say that's the worst photo. And after that, I'd say I'd rank the the Blu-ray version with the CD as number one. Then I would rank the CD plus DVD version as number two. And then for the bottom two, I would have the CD only version and the miscellaneous photo. And I would, you know, <clears throat> I'll probably be nice and not do a double elimination. I'll just eliminate the miscellaneous photo. And I think that's what they did. Ultimately, I think they kind of got it right, at least. Because, you know, you pay the least amount of money for the CD version. Then, you pay the... You pay more money for the CD plus DVD version. So you get the second uh, second best photo. And then you pay, um, pay the most for the CD plus Blu-ray version of the CD, like, of the, um, compilation album. So, you get the best photos, it's based on how much you're willing to pay. You get the best photo if you pay the most, and get the least, the least best photo if you pay the least. And I think that's all I pretty much have to say. Um, sorry to blab on for so long. Um, but I just wanted to um, give my opinion of this um, this photo shoot, definitely. I think, you know, it's odd. It's weird. I didn't really imagine this photo shoot happening. But then again, I don't really imagine much of any photo shoots happening, just because I'm not really interested in, like, the photo shoot aspect of it. Uh, more like the videos, you know. But the photo shoots can be pretty decent, too. It depends on the theme. I'm not sure if this photo shoot really had a theme. At least I can't really tell the theme from it. Um, seems like it looks like something old with something new. Something borrowed. And something blue. Maybe Nami's eyes. It looked like, like they might be bluish. So, I don't know why she has this, like, wedding theme, then. You know, the whole ball, something new, old, blue, all that crap. But I've gone on for long enough. This is all I have to say. Feel free to let me know your opinions of the photos. Until the next video, adios and goodbye. As well, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe, feel free to give me a thumbs up. The support is greatly appreciated. Again, until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.